Well, the amazing thing about uh, uh, interactive media like the internet is that your customers, it's easy for them to talk to you. Um, at the crudest level, they can send you an email. Um, at a less obvious level, uh, depending on what uh, films and TV shows they choose, we tend to get more of those. So we get an implicit signal of what's popular. Um, so that's another way of uh, passively uh, listening to the consumer and trying to figure out what do they really want. And so the interactive nature of the two-way nature of the internet really allows tremendous uh, you know, suggestion boxes, um, I like this versus this, sometimes A-B testing, uh, and generally trying to figure out if we do this, um, our users are, are happier and, and use the service more. Yeah. Okay. Well, fundamentally, um, the, the sort of uh, one basic signal is if people don't you know, find your stuff interesting, they don't share it, they don't go to it. I mean, you're, you're able to see uh, what's popular and what's not. And that shouldn't be the prime signal necessarily of what you, you do. Um, there's websites out there that do develop content just because it's popular, and that's, uh, you know, <laughs> that's fine. I think for us, um, you know, our mission is, is it's much more focused on our policy and, and supporting our policy, whether it's the White House or the State Department. Um, and so, you know, we are, we are looking uh, at more of the, the judo of this, um, to attract people by things, uh, by, by talking about things they're interested in, um, but to actually use that energy uh, in service of our priority and, um, and, and really try to find some uh, mutually beneficial relationship there. Um, but I, I think it's a good uh, segue to also talk about our petitions platform, which I think Tom can, can, can weigh in on as well. Um, but it's, it's, um, it's just worth a quick overview. At the White House, we launched a, a platform called We the People. Uh, and it's basically an online petitions platform. Anyone can create a petition. If they reach a certain number of, of signatures, the White House will uh, issue an official response. That's it. It's, that's all the rules we put forward. Uh, we launched it in September two years ago, something like that. And I, I haven't seen the latest numbers. But we had about a million, or, sorry, 10 million people use the system, create 15 million signatures on over um, 200,000 petitions or something like that. Um, and about 100, 150 uh, petitions have crossed that threshold and we've responded. Now, fast forward to my job at the State Department and I reflect on some of those petitions, including a petition that protested an election in Venezuela where we had 100,000 <laughs> signatures of people who cared about civil society in Venezuela. Um, our response to that email list is a really interesting opportunity for public diplomacy. It's a really interesting asset for um, not just how we talk about the United States, but actually how we um, support and advance our, advance our policy priorities. Uh, and so throughout a range of issues at the White House, we were able to um, build lists based on what people were telling us they cared about uh, and then respond to those. It's not a perfect system. It's certainly the beginning of something, but clearly the public was showing us there was a demand for that kind of engagement. I don't know if you have anything to add to the petitions experience. Uh, well, I could segue with that uh, pointing to the fact that data is something that's really important to media as a whole. Without analyzing data and quantitatively uh, assessing your successes and your failures, uh, you will not succeed. And as much as I'd like to think of a media company like The Atlantic as a public service that has been around for 150 years, it's a business. And if we don't turn a profit at the end of the day, we will eventually kill that business. So being able to analyze the data and A-B test, like, like Reed said, uh, to figure out, uh, it doesn't matter how good your content is if no one's reading it. Uh, so figure out if the headline should go above the, uh, the hero image, maybe it should go below. Uh, and all these, these tests that we run allow us to determine the best way to get our, our fantastic content to, to the reader and get them to consume it. Uh, because at the end of the day, again, it's a business. If I could just make one, one quick final point. One of the big challenges working in government is it's not uh, sort of uh, run along the same rules as a business. But profitability is not, um, uh, it, it, I have come to really appreciate that as a very clarifying metric uh, in organizations. Um, and it really, but everyone's on the same page. It's a reason why we're not, you know, moving forward with the project you care a lot about because it doesn't make money and we're not here to, to do that. It's not this as clear in government um, and it shouldn't be. Um, that, doesn't, that me doesn't give you an excuse not to measure. And so on the petitions, uh, for example, we would survey people who received a response. Most of our responses were one version of no, we're not going to do that, and here's why, um, which we still see a lot of value with. We would ask people if they would uh, create or sign another petition in the future, and we saw about 80% of people say they would. And to us, this was a very simple question of 
was this experience useful to you um, to the extent you would actually do it again? Um, again, not perfect, but at least we're asking those questions, and I think there's many different uh, opportunities for us to do the same kind of engagement at the State Department.